Well, technology has really made things a lot easier um, and um, it gives us greater possibilities for uh, research uh, as well as training, especially training um, on your own, which is to say that the player do doesn't need to have a trainer with him all the time. Um, in my own case, the application of uh, heart rate devices, for example, for heart rate variability studies. Obviously, you know, the appearance of algorithms uh, in trying to study the performance of players um, and, you know, the role of computers and, and a higher level of, of science uh, in understanding a player's performance is important. There's a lot of sensing technology or, or GPS technology, for example, that give you feedback in, in golf. How far did the ball fly? What was the you know, spin axis of my uh, club with my five iron? How does it differ from my wedge? Um, so things like that. And then the kind of cumulative thing. There are programs that analyze performance, which I think are, are, are kind of cute. Um, uh, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a number of other technological advances, but I think they're great and the more, um, you know, portable, the better, obviously, when these little, you know, HRV um, heart rate monitors um, showed up. It made our job a lot easier to do any sort of EMG, EEG, stuff like that is just, um, you know, incredible for us to be able to, to, to prove, you know, that there's an effect um, with HRV heart rate variability, um, you, it's easier to, for the player to buy in when he sees that he's slowing his heart rate down and that he can influence um, his thoughts and his breathing and his heart rate. So um, technology is a, is a, um, ha has made vast improvements um, in the fields themselves.